Hey, H. Did you get the news? Cameron's suspension? Yeah, I've heard. You... you know what we have to do. Yes, yes, I know. That was the plan all along, dear. Oh, oh what? I never was too fond of that short hair. Didn't expect you two to go all out and fight like you did, but it checks out. You wanted to get rid of her from the beginning. To take Kitty Club as your own. Yup. Oh, whoa, you're more powerful than I thought. Why'd you keep me, though? It started out as me wanting to get rid of Maddie, but I like you, Wiener Dog. <clears throat> anyway, enough with the soft talk. We have business to take care of. Wouldn't you agree? On it. May I have your attention, everyone? Just for a brief second. We have some big news regarding the Kitty Club. Kind of like an inside look for all you non-cats out there. To start off, we've been informed that Cameron and Lenny have officially parted ways and almost immediately after her suspension. Why was she suspended, you may ask? Just look at the paw. <gasps> It's definitely healed a lot since I don't have to wear the cast anymore, but it was pretty tragic. I can't go into much detail, especially not without her permission. But anyways, even after her suspension, we presumed she'd ditch school for a couple of days in spite of the breakup. So, the kitty club will need someone to sustain it, at least until her return. While obviously the job isn't suited for me, mainly because I'm not a cat, we have another feeling that we think both will get the job done just as well, or even better than Cameron ever did. Meet your new head leader, Rachel. Yes, yes, thank you. I adore you. I'm aware that this change is quite sudden, but her place desperately needs to be filled, and I personally find myself to be an expert at the art of gossip. I also think we can all agree that Cameron was getting a bit stale ever since the arrival of our very own high school pop star. I like you more every day, Jim. Thank you for listening, everyone. I hope you guys all have a good time adjusting, but as you know, I won't have anything to do with this situation. We should be going now. Come on. Heather, I'll be honest with you. You've never failed to impress me. I think I'm getting the swing of things, honestly. It feels way better to be powerful and pretty than Madeline's personal therapist. We're gonna end up as a great team, aren't we, love? As long as we're careful, you saw what Cameron was already willing to do in front of a crowd of people. Imagine what she would pull in private, if it even came to that. I'm, I'm rich enough to hire personal bodyguards for you. One for each hour of the day, even. Yeah, but did you see how slick Cassidy's been with these videos? She could be filming us right now and we don't even know I'm it. I'm some real talk, so don't worry about it. Money will always save us. I don't care what no one says. <laughs> you see that? That female dog had the nerve to announce all that like she owned the damn place. I know, and it's starting to piss me off, honestly. I gave her the benefit of the doubt. At first, but I've come to my freaking point, girls. I wish I never met Heather or that feline that my parents like to call my sister. It's about time, girl. I'm saying. So proud of you for finally coming to your senses, Maddie. Heather's been a jerk since day one. So clingy and for right. what? Well, we'll show up for sure with that outfit that Maddie's got on. Right. And I don't even compare to her party dress. Also, speaking of the party, y'all know I'm a car girl, right? Yeah. Where are you going with this? I'm thinking our party should be a car show. You know, since uh, I like automobiles and I would like to see some people's cars. That's actually a really good idea. That'd be so fun. Yeah, and a lot less basic than some, you know, teenage party. Also, you already got a whip? You're so lucky. Yeah, I'm a little bit older than y'all, so I can already drive, but I know a lot of juniors and seniors that will want to show up that can drive. And you know, the sophomores are gonna show up just because it's me, you know? <laughs> I love your spirit. And me, of course. Hey, well don't go taking all my spotlight, okay? It's my birthday. <laughs> I won't, I promise. Yeah, yeah, small talk. We haven't even told anyone about the party yet, so we should probably get to that. How you wanna do it, Mads? Or Jess? Who's gonna be the one to conduct this? All three of us, duh. You know what? I'll let Maddie take the lead. She's been going through it the most, and plus, it's just a birthday party. I'll get my attention when the time oh, comes. Oh, thank you, Jess. Let's hop to it before Rachel being the new kitty club leader actually ends up being the hottest news of the day. Yeah, pretty jive for my taste, don't you think, girls? <laughs> okay, let's go. Just remember, Mads, assertive. And what the hell do you think you're doing? It has nothing to do with you, and it's none of your concern. Not yet, anyways. You're such a creep, you know that, Cassidy? I'll be as much of a creep as I need to be, if that means I can protect Cameron's feelings. What is with you and her? I know you're her little minion or whatever, but you be doing too much. Just leave. 
before your life is destroyed. <laughs> okay. Well, tell Cam I said I hope she gets over Lenny soon, since, well, Maddie's gonna snatch him up pretty soon. <laughs> <sighs> What's good, Fortuna? Good God, here we go again with this talking orange. Uh, Maddie? Heather, I know you used to have a thing for her or whatever. She's so pretty. <laughs> Thank you for all the compliments, my lovelies. It means the world, but I didn't come here to just show off the outfit. I actually wanted to help publicize the birthday party of one of my best friends, Jessica Thatcher. Hi guys. Her birthday is this Saturday, the 17th. I'd love for all of you to attend. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Maddie. Uh, you're all invited and the party starts at nine um, and it ends when everyone leaves. And actually it's not really a party, it's more of a car meet. Uh, I don't know how many of you are into cars, but I'm really enthusiastic about them, so. <laughs> Chess. I'm nervous, okay? I've never done this. Well, don't be, because I got this covered, okay? Your birthday's gonna be amazing. I wanna see all of you there, okay? Maddie, Maddie. Uh, oh, hi, Lenny. You gonna be at the car meet? I heard cars are pretty cool. Actually, I don't know much about cars, but I know my dad has a skyline, so I, I thought it was pretty cool. You know what would be even more cool? You being there. You know what? I probably should. A lot of stuff has been going down in my life recently, but I think it would be good for me to get my mind off of it all. Oh, I'm sorry for that, Lenny, but I'm sure this will make you feel better. I'll be looking uh, for you. Cool. She is just throwing brownie points at me, huh? Well, anyways, that's how I have to tell you all. Thank you so much for listening, and if you have any questions about the details, they'll be on Justice Instagram, or you can just ask us yourself. Ta-ta, everyone. Mwah, mwah. Come on, Jess, this is gonna be amazing. Smile, punk. You're on camera. Yeah, everyone has cameras these days. You didn't know that? Tell your friend to think twice before getting on Cameron's bad side. Especially when it comes to Lenny. <laughs> she must have nothing but bad sides then. She kicked Maddie out of the kitty club for no reason, treats me and live like trash, and now she has you recording us. I would be surprised if I ever saw her good side. Yeah, because Maddie has been eyeing Lenny for the past five years! And he's taken! You and I both know Cameron never deserved Lenny. She's abusive. Protective. She's protective. Lenny needs a strong woman in her life. Nothing like Maddie will ever be. Just because she's confident now doesn't mean Lenny will hate her any less. Look, Cassidy, there's a fine line between violence against others unprovoked and being protective. And just based on your little recording you got going, you seem to be like one that needs a strong woman in her life. <sighs> Look, Cass, I'll DM you when Maddie and Lenny hook up. Until then, stay off my tail, all right? Okay, Heather, I need you to calm down for a second. I know this is a lot. What if she really rose above us, Rachel? What are we gonna do about that? What if she just ended up having it all, even after everything she did to me? Now you're just thinking crazy. A high school pop star, remember? Her middle class cul-de-sac living self doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, but she's a relative, your sister at that. She could easily use your fame to her advantage. Heather, let's be real with ourselves. I think you're just jealous because she's confident in herself now without your oh, help. Yeah, but can you blame me? I tried to get that girl to do this ages ago. I know, but you're over all that now. We're a team. I'm a million times better than Maddie ever was, and I'll treat you better too. You're right. I'm just scared, I guess. Um, it hurts not to have that reassurance. I guess I've spent so much time reassuring others that I've never really thought of anyone else reassuring well, me. Well, I'm here, and don't be. I've gotten us this far, right? Got rid of Cameron. Cameron was the hard part. Getting rid of my sister will be a piece of cake. Then, fame is ours, my friend. Jessica, your fur just sparkles and it's crazy. Right. I've always wanted fur like yours. It's just, is that just a cat thing or something? <laughs> Thank you, girls, but I think it just might be my shampoo. Um, I can DM you the brand if you want. Can't think of it on the top of my head, honestly. I switch a lot. Well, definitely tell me when you remember, okay? I want to look like you so bad. Girl, you're already gorgeous. You don't need shampoo to know that. Oh, thank you. Well, we gotta head out. The bell's gonna ring soon. Yeah, but we'll definitely be at your car meet. That is so cool. I love cars. You too? It seems pretty rare to find that around here. Well, I'll be looking for you guys. Okay, Jess, thank you. You're so cool. Come on. Yeah, we'll be there. Maddie, this is amazing. Hey, don't thank me. This is your birthday. Hey man, I'll be back, okay? I got something that I wanna do. Is it Jessica? You've been talking about her a lot today. She likes cars too, man. How can I pass that up? Hey, uh, Jessica, is it? My ride's almost here. Um, we'll leave you. Liv, you can ride with me. <laughs> okay. Guys, 
Uh, yeah, name's Jessica. Um, and you are? I'm Atlas. Uh, I heard you were in the cars. Yeah, I've been really into them lately. I was able to get my license a couple months ago, actually, and my first car was a Viper. A Viper? Seriously? You're lucky. Yeah, yeah, it ain't all that, but, uh, what's your whip? Well, I, I got an old Camaro. A Camaro? For real? I gotta see that thing. It's pretty stock, but I like it. A lot, actually. Okay, well, bring us the meat, okay? Oh, for sure. I'll, I'll definitely be there. Uh, to see you. A and the cars, of course. Yeah, yeah, uh, so, I was thinking, uh, maybe I could get your number? Oh, oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I'll, I'll get you my number real quick. Uh, yeah, here. Thanks. Uh, you're pretty cool, you know that? Thank you, Atlas. Uh, I'll be looking forward to seeing you there. Thank you for talking to me. Yeah, 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 I I'll see you, alright? I'll be at the party. <laughs> Ha! Atlas, what was that, dude? <laughs> oh, that mutt thinks she's so funny. Taking my club of five and a half years, my boyfriend, my popularity, n what's next? Cam, I think it's about time you started taking her things. But, you know me. I'm next level with Ooh. it. And like that, forget everything I said about you documenting the other day. We have to collect as much dirt on this female dog as we can. Oh, absolutely. And I think I know the first step to take. I love you, Cass. You'd be Lenny any day. I only work for the best. And I think getting rid of Maddie will be easy. Easy as it's always been, anyways. Just gotta keep her off Lenny until I win him back. Or you'll have your man, Cam, guaranteed. Which reminds me, doesn't Rachel owe you a man? She does. You and I both, but... I think after this, we'll have everything we want. Sounds fantastic. We may not have the comfort of our school to pull this off in, but that just might work out in our favor. Go on. We'll have to hurry, but I want you to meet me at the bus stop on 35th Street in about 20 minutes. I'll be showing up early to make sure I get all the footage, but you'll get to do the fun part. Cassidy, I think I like where this is going. for a few hours. I know it's weird, but... No, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Thanks. I just... I don't trust Cameron. Suspended or not, what she did was so... psycho. All I did was help him. <laughs> I mean, you did go out with her boyfriend. We did not go out! Both of you should know that I'm not and never will be interested in Lenny that way. That's fair. I didn't really think of it like that, but Cameron is obsessed enough to know that for his paw. Maybe her reaction was a bit extreme. Well, this is it. Jeez, this is huge. Yeah, well, that's kind of what you get when you're a celebrity. You must love it. I do, but it gets lonely sometimes. Dad is always out spending all the money he can and, well, well, out with his mistress. Oh. Dog, Rach, I'm, I'm sorry. It's fine. He's always been an incompetent hypocrite. I hate Maddie's guts, but he did treat her pretty crappy. Worse than I ever did. I know it sounds pretty counterproductive to say this, but why don't you just move in with your mom and Maddie and support them? I would, but I'm not technically an adult yet, so I don't have all the rights to my money. But as soon as I graduate and turn 18, I'm getting away from him. He didn't deserve all the money that I have often goes over the limit that I give him. <sighs> that is so messed up. I'm sorry, Rachel. I never thought I would say that to you. No offense. No, no, I understand where you're coming from. It really is a horror. Shh. I hear something. I don't hear any- Ah! What the tail? Shh, Rachel. Get off of me! You went and messed around with the wrong dog, so then found that. Tranquilizer on it. Oh Let my go God, of get us! Off of me. Someone help wrong? with you, Cameron. You're always trying to do something to- uh, Oh my dog, Heather! Wait, 
this out. What the hell did you... 